Welcome back. So before I decided to start putting things back together, I wanted to do one last test here and uh, just to see how much movement there is. And this is this one side while it's pulling on it and then now while it's actually slacking off, so pulling on the other side. So there's still a little bit of movement in that one, not much at all, but it's mainly coming from um, the rod itself. And this is the other side and that's when it's um, slacking off. Uh, in other words, pulling the other way, and this is when it's pulling on it. And that one doesn't seem to be moving really much at all, so uh, happy with that one. And uh, you're looking in the other places here, up the back here with the amount of tension I have on it now, which is just over 100 pounds, I think, there's uh, little to no movement back here because the tension has just taken up any slack that was uh, in the system. So pretty happy with how that uh, section is anchored out now. And looking from the side, you can see there's really no flex in those uh, pulleys. It's just the motion going back and forth. So with about um, 65 pounds of force on there, that's about how much I'm putting on it there now uh, on the stick. And that's how much movement you get. And the same up here, there's really no movement in the or flex in the pulley mounting anymore there. So I'm pretty much happy with this. I've got enough tension in there right now that I can't um, push the stick to the stop without going um, over the 67 pounds, which is kind of like you know what they specify there that you need to be able to handle, um, you know, without anything breaking or anything. And now it's definitely not going to break with how I've secured everything now. And of course, these cables can handle 2,000 pounds. I'm nowhere near that. And this is out there in the uh, wing there and you can see there's just a tiny bit of movement there so it is translating um, to the uh, bell crank linkage there onto the aileron but it's just so minuscule now it's really um, you know completely okay at least in my opinion and this is showing you how much stick force it takes um, so I end up putting about 75 pounds on here before I get it all the way to the stop so and of course I can still dial in a little bit more pretension and then here's just another go at it and you'll see I think it's 75 or 77 pounds or something I get on that before I get it to the stop and I think that's acceptable so and if I need to go more I could and this is looking um, at the thing the cable tension gauge when I pull it so it's basically adding probably another 20 or 30 pounds when I pull it tight and this is when you go the other way when you're actually so this side cable ends up going loose see it goes back to about sort of 25 30 pounds there and uh, just one last look here in the nose and this is um, the side that's flexing the most and you can see there's a little bit of flex in that rod it's in the half inch rod that's in between those larger sleeves uh, but I think again I think it's acceptable there's not much I can do about that at this point um, you know uh, other than using a thicker rod which is not going to happen so the next thing I needed to do was uh, just put in some holes there in the in the bottom of the skin there so I could put a cable tie in to secure uh, those hoses there once I get the nose gear in because uh, I didn't have the brackets anymore that were holding those pulleys um, for them for those hoses to live between so here I am just getting the nose gear back into place now it's a little bit unwieldy just to wheel it into place there and then you have to line up the mounting brackets there with the four uh, different AN4 bolts on each side and get those into place or at least lined up before you can put the bolts in there as you can see that's kind of what I'm doing there getting it all lined up and uh, yeah so I'm pretty happy how things are working out now with the ailerons I don't think it'll be a problem and as I said I can always tension up a little bit more if I need to um, or if Justin you know wants me to tension it up a little bit more I don't think it's a problem um, so it didn't take too long to get this sorted out so you got to put the nose gear in and then hook up the retraction linkages and just tidy everything up again so it's nice to be putting things back together after such amount of time that having the nose gear out of the aircraft while I you know went through the different experiments with trying to get the aileron cables sorted out but ultimately back to what the initial solution was but 
with the pulleys uh, anchored much better. So yeah, you can see I've got the hose, uh, that little hose bracket back in place there. And uh, the next thing to do was put the nose uh, retraction linkage back in place. So that's what I'm doing here. Just tightening up uh, the bolts that hold the upper part of that in place. And then I had to uh, hook up the, uh, the gas strut there. You can see I've got that uh, hooked back onto its mounting point there in the nose. And finally, uh, you know, get, get those end pieces there hooked up to the nose gear, which is what I've done here. And you can see everything's all back in place. And sorry about the blurriness on the video from here on out. Um, I think I must have somehow smeared something on the end of the, or the, on the lens of the camera. Everything went a little bit uh, blurry. <laughs> so I'll make sure that that's cleared off the next go round. But yeah, this is how I get the uh, the aircraft back off the blocks. Just put my little 50 pound weights on either side there of the um, little nose cart there, nose wheel cart, and uh, back on the gear. So that's how it all looks back again. So next step is to get that um, the elevator balancing completed, and then we'll go from there. So that's my update for this week, and uh, tune in again on Tuesday and see if I got the elevator balancing uh, finished off. So thanks again for watching.